The project really came about when uh, Andrea was a second year resident. She was actually maybe probably an intern uh, on the ultrasound rotation. She was talking about education in Peru and how she was a med student in Peru and there was really no ultrasound education in that country. So emergency medicine in Peru has been around for I believe like since 1993 is when they became an actual um, specialty and this was that's a reaction as uh, to the civil war that we had with terrorism. But I guess the country at that time passed the law that every single emergency department needed an ultrasound machine. With that law no education came. Point of care ultrasound which has been present and is now part of an integral component of training for an emergency medicine physician. You, you need to have that training in order to graduate from a residency in the U.S. That doesn't exist yet in Peru. We had this opportunity of like, okay, a lot of these emergency departments have the tools. We just need to teach them how to do it. And during that time, we started this beautiful relationship with Highland residents, went down there to rotate with them, and then we received some of their residents as well. So we had like a four-year period where we were very engaged with this one hospital. So after four years of this, we're like, huh, we have now identified a few leaders down there that it makes sense if we just really train them at a fellowship level, they can take this off and teach the entire nation. And then we essentially built a fellowship based on our fellowship at Highland around that concept and made them have the opportunity to learn from us in a longitudinal format. Um, so we saw, I actually saw an advertisement of the Lumify, uh, because a little bit of the barriers that we've, we've talked about before with doing international uh, medical education is that it's costly, right? It takes, it's airfare back and forth, it's like when visas, it's they have to, they have to stay somewhere, and it's not sustainable. It's definitely a great way to plant the seed as it turned out for us but it's not a good way to continue to grow. We're very fortunate that as this project was coming up in our minds, as we wanted to develop this longitudinal curriculum, Lumify Reacts, uh, a platform that we've been using now for this past year to really try to break down those geographical barriers. So we left them with this tool so that they could actually reach out to us when they were scanning, when they were doing their ultrasound scans. And if they had a question come up, they, we were able to actually not only talk to them and see them, but actually see where the probe is, guide them in terms of where to hold the probe, uh, look at the image almost as if we were standing there with them. And I think it's the first time I've ever been involved in a project where the goal is not just to offer education, but it's bi-directional. And also it allows them an opportunity to improve over the entire year. This is not just one course, but really a, a, an active, interactive, bi-directional educational format. And so they, we created a little a group, a text message group, that whenever they had a question, it would go to my phone, Davis phone, Arun's phone, or Daniel McCowney's phone, and one of us would jump on a React session with them and you know, be like, yeah, you're right, actually, to get this better image of moved this way. And that just like, very regular education sessions, as short as sometimes like five minutes, really made it click. And I think it also made our fellows down there feel so much more comfortable with just grabbing the ultrasound. I still remember walking around the city and getting a text message for React sessions. And I just snuck into a coffee shop, sat down with my laptop, pulled up my phone, um, and really was having a conversation with clinicians in Lima. As cynical as we are, as all of us are, that has to be crazy. That has to be amazing that I'm sitting there helping somebody. I'm sure somebody was starting, uh, was, you know, probably working on their startup next door to me, but I was actually like helping this clinician. And it still gives me this level of like, wow, this is really something that's special and not just uh, another ultrasound course. Let go, I'll be there when you feel